Okay, I'm going to make a video here showing how to change the power settings on the uh, Avio TCW315 power supply. First thing is, uh, these settings right here are transformer tap settings, and they roughly correspond to the th size of the thermo that you're running. So for very small single point thermodes, you'll want it on a 1. For like our average SLD6 thermo, you'll want it on a 2 or a 3. And for bigger thermodes like an SLD10, an SLD14, and so forth, you're going to need it on ranges 4 and 5 and so forth. Alright, so right now the uh, power supply is in operate mode. we got a ready light on, and so it's ready to run the program that's stored in here. And this is a graph showing basically how the program runs. There's a ramp period where the temperature is brought up to the first level and held for a period of time and then brought up to the next level and held for a period of time. And most soldering profiles follow this. On this screen you can see that the first ramp temperature is 100 degrees C and the second one at 200 degrees C. So let's take a look at how to change these settings. We go into data set and here's the first screen that comes up and uh, so right here under first this is the first temperature that it's going to level off at 100 C and to change that you just uh, basically arrow over and get over the digit that you want to change like it's blinking on that zero and then you just go up or down with it and you can change each individual digit going on down here's the second temperature 200 C and then uh, let's see here so this is a time thing um, basically this is whatever these numbers are is times whatever you put here so in, ca in this case is 10 microseconds um, and if you want to change that to 100 microseconds then you could go up by pushing the plus button there and so this basically multiplies your your number of uh, seconds so it'll cause something like this to go from uh, from two seconds to 20 seconds by changing that from 10 to 100. Change that back here. Uh, first up time is the up is the ramp, so it's how many seconds it takes to ramp from ambient temperature to the to the first hold temperature, which is right here. And then HT stands for hold time, and this is how many uh, this is the time period that it takes that it's going to hold it at that first temperature and then under the second line you have another ramp time and hold time and again these are in microseconds times whatever that number there is so uh, let's see I'm gonna go to the uh, let's see I'm gonna go to the next page uh, there's some other settings in here that might be of use to you uh, in particular the solid point uh, a solid point is the temperature at which your solder becomes solidified. And uh, the machine translates this into what temperature do I retract the head at. So you can set a number in here uh, like 100C or 75C or whatever the case might be. And when this uh, machine, when it's controlling the uh, extension and retraction of the head, when it's set to do that, it will retract at whatever the temperature is that you set here. Uh, let's go to program mode. Right here you can change which program you're wanting to run. See I just uh, did the minus button it went down to number three, number two, number one. So you can store multiple programs and whichever one you're on when you go to data set that becomes the one that you're editing. So then under parameters the important thing here uh, there is quite a few different things that you can read about in the manual but uh, some of the most important ones are going to be this one. So head I/O. If you're if you're driving ahead with the power supply, like a pneumatic head, for example, then you're going to want the head I/O set to on, and you're going to want the sequence set to on. To change these, you just get over them, and there again, just uh, plus or minus switches it from on to off. Um, let me go through the next one. There's some counters and some various other things here, and a way to set a password. Uh, but that's basically it and then to run whatever program you've selected here you go to operate mode and you get a ready light when it's ready to run that program. 